Coming in at number eight for my top Xcode tips that helped me as a senior iOS engineer is the ability to show source control changes. So if you go to settings and source control and you check this box here, you will then be able to see a blue line for any changes that you make. From there you can show or hide or discard your changes. And another cool part about this is if you edit like several files, let's just make some changes randomly, is you can filter those files by using this icon here and see your changes. If you discard, that goes away. Number seven is switch case autofill. So there's two ways to do this. Say I have a switch case and I'm writing it out. I can rely on this error message and just be lazy about it and just hit fix and it fills them all in. Or I can right click the word switch, go to refactor and hit expand switch cases. Both do the same thing, both save you time. Number six is jump to definition. So anytime you see a file that you're curious about, right click, jump to definition, it takes you to that file immediately. And just a little tip here, you see how social feed view is italicized? If I go to a different file now, that goes away. Say I wanted to do a lot of work in social feed view. If I double click this, it being normal text means that it will stay there. So I can go to store actor now and it will give me a new tab. Number five is double clicking an opening bracket to see where that bracket ends. So let's say you have like a huge view. You're unsure which bracket corresponds to what. You could double click and it immediately highlights it. Number four is one of my favorites. It is multi-cursor editing. Okay, so let's say I have these three variables and I wanna make them private. My cursor is on the bottom one. What I could do is hold down the option key, drag up, and I can just type private. And it types it for three lines. So hold option, click and drag. I could do the same thing here. Very cool. Number three is the ability to show authors in the editor. So this is something that will typically only be done if you're working on a team. But if you go up here to editor and hit authors, see how it says Apple with a date. So when you work at a larger company or like on a larger team, you'll see like a ton of different authors here for the different lines of code. This is all saying Apple because this is just a sample project, but you'll see the date for the PR with links to the PR and links to the commits. It's incredibly helpful if you need to reach out to the person who wrote that code. I'm gonna disable this now. Number two is code folding. So if you go to settings, text editing, and you enable this cold code folding ribbon, right next to the coding line, you'll see these drop down arrows for anything that has an opening bracket. Now, if I were to collapse body that is now condensed so if i'm focused on like one specific part of a file and maybe it's a huge file like you can collapse a lot of these things so now i'm only working with the top so say navigation title is taken care of and i don't want to look at it i need to make sure i have all my dependencies so code folding allows you to get a way simpler view of your file and lastly number one on my list my favorite xcode tip the ability to use keyboard shortcuts. My favorite one is quick open. So say I want to open truck view right here, but I don't know where it's at. I'm in the, I'm in the account folder. I just want to go, okay, where's truck view? Command shift O truck dot swift. Oh, that's not it. Truck view. Boom. Now I have the truck file and the truck view. Command shift O. Another shortcut I use a lot is reveal in project navigator. So I'm inside food truck model and I don't see it over here. I don't know where it lives. So I could just do, for whatever file I'm inside, Command Shift J, and it immediately opens it up here. Immediately. So then I can look at its, you know, its folder and see what else is there. Another great one, let's mess up this indentation a bunch and let's say my brackets are all screwed up and I copy and pasted some code maybe, is um, highlight. Control I, indentation, perfecto. And then the other three shortcuts that I wanna to touch on that I find myself using all the time, 
Command B to build. Build failed. Command R to run, which will build first. And Command Shift K to clean. And that's it. Thank you for watching.